Hey everyone, welcome back to our S4 HANA video series, Greenfield or Brownfield for your S4 HANA migration. Let's settle the debate. So every journey from ECC to S4 HANA is unique. Each company will face its own distinct business scenarios with its own priorities and challenges. In this world of mergers and acquisitions, it's not unusual to divest a business, then in turn need to be absorbed into another company that may already have S4 HANA. Some companies try to reduce risk by phasing the migration, and perhaps starting with finance before they migrate to the rest of their organization. With such diverse business scenarios, the question becomes, what should the ideal approach to S4 HANA be, Norm? Great question, Dan. Traditionally, migrations were categorized into greenfield and brownfield. However, at Aplexus, we offer a nuanced perspective. Cellarite, our AI-powered platform for accelerated S4 migrations, has allowed us to consider seven different approaches to S4 HANA migration, tailored to a company's unique scenario priorities and challenges. The ideal approach is determined by doing a deep technical analysis of the source system, leveraging Cellarite, and combining that with a series of stakeholder discussions on process improvement areas and innovation opportunities. Okay, so I heard you say seven different approaches, Norb. Certainly, can you, yes. Can you expand on that just a little bit? Yeah, certainly. We have two within Brownfield, two within Greenfield, and three more within Selective Transition, which offers a middle ground. Within Brownfield, you could simplify and or clean up your existing ECC system landscape first, followed by conversion to S4 HANA. We call that a clean and start. Or you could jump right in with the S4 HANA conversion first, then do the simplification or additional cleanup, and we call that a jump start, jump right in. For Greenfield, you could do a fit to standard approach that focuses on standard SAP processes and maintains a clean core. Or you could do fit to business approach where you would start with the SAP standard, but then map and redesign your existing high, highly customized processes to leverage us for HANA's capabilities. Your commodity or generic processes would stick with standard SAP processes. But the one approach I want to highlight today is selective transition, which is one of the least understood approaches, but has the potential to become quite popular. This lack of understanding is because it requires a specific tool set like Cellarite to do the transformation. See, and I think everything you said was really straightforward with the exception of the selective transition. Maybe you can uh, explain that a little bit more, Norb? Certainly. Selective transition has three different approaches, consolidate, carve out, and hybrid. Consolidate is where you have a target S4 HANA instance already, and you want to add functionality to it from another ECC or S4 environment. Carve out is where you want to extract and migrate certain portions of an existing landscape, such as a company code or a certain set of processes, and stand up a new S4 HANA instance. These two capabilities provide a third option, hybrid, which combines elements of both carve out and consolidate, resulting in a new S4 HANA landscape that integrates selectively migrated processes from one or more legacy solutions and any new processes within S4 HANA. This is like getting the best of your old world and the best of your new world with S4 HANA features. Uh, see, now thanks for that, Norm. I appreciate it. I mean, it really does separate us and define us within the organization. Um, so anyone that's considering a move to S4 HANA, reach out to us. We can help identify the right approach for your business. We welcome any comments, questions, or feedback. And please stay tuned for our next episode, which will be coming soon. Norb, great to see you again, buddy. Hey, always great to see you, Dan. Thanks.